Hello grandchildren. Glad to welcome you to another episode of Walheim. Today we will study with you the dark side of this world, we will fight with a bunch of skeletons and of course we will not do without a guest of the program. Huge and blue. There is a time for everything. Enjoy watching grandchildren. Today, according to the plan, as always, we are improving, developing, and learning something new. Therefore, grandchildren, for starters, we will improve our things and prepare for trips to the caves where the skeletons live. Our goal is certling cores, they will allow us to make ovens that we really need in order to develop further. Rested, prepared now it's time to go on a campaign for new adventures and resources. I haven't had to fight in a long time. Time to stretch my old bones and punish these walking bones. Finally, our first burial chambers. Wish me luck guys, it will definitely come in handy here.
I think this skeleton spawner might come in handy in the future. Suddenly I need bones, I can come and collect enough. I found a whole bunch of new stuff. And yet I do not know what they all might be needed for. Maybe it's some kind of jewelry. And of course, a stone with the designation of the next boss. I don't think I should go ahead of time. For my level, these burial chambers are not an easy location. Especially when I meet not ordinary skeletons, but those that have a certain number of stars. I had no idea where they were shooting at me from. Well, maybe it just seemed. You never know what the old man will get into his head, I thought. <laughs> so that's where he was sitting, all the same it didn't seem to me. Shit, that was too close. I still really underestimated the danger of this dungeon. It's not the best idea to fight him, but I have no choice because I'm a Viking, and Vikings don't give up without a fight. So I died, but this is not the time to despair and give up. After all, I will lose not when I die from the unfortunate skeleton, but when I give up and start fighting again. Go ahead, grandchildren. I need to eat and get back to the caves as soon as possible. I ran, it remains to pick up my things and continue to loot these caves. I've got everything, so let's get started. Attack. I found my offender, I will take revenge on him so that other skeletons are afraid of me.
My death was very close again. I'm walking along the edge, I'll say once again I'm glad that I need to be careful otherwise, I won't live at such a pace for a long time. Yes. Get blunt bones. Don't think that I'm going crazy. I really have a lot of fun. These burial chambers are finished. Now I plan to find a new type of wood in the Black Forest. Found a new tree. We chop it. Now I have a bunch of new cool crafts and recipes. I am very happy about this. Oh. My. God. I was just chopping down a tree. What is this monster? Huge blue troll. This will be very difficult. It's really best not to joke with this guy. I decided to take him to the clearing, I think it will be easier to fight him there, this is my strategy. Here are his reinforcements. I doubt that it is he who needs it, and not me, especially in such a situation. I didn't touch him, why did he attack me? Not by myself yet. Fight like a man one on one. To begin with, I will try to deal with the Graylings, and then fully figure out how to deal with the troll. Because I definitely can't cope with him if they interfere with me. It's hard as hell. And besides, the troll does not damage Graylings when hit, unlike skeletons. And of course it's bad for me. The whole world turned against me. Even a boar.
Well, of course. Finally one on one. I got angry blue you troll moron. This blow taught me a lesson that it is worth watching the stamina much more closely and not letting it end. Otherwise, it might hurt me a lot. After this blow, I realized that it was very dangerous to fight him close, so I would try to move to a distance and attack him with a bow. But I still have to be wary of him, because he likes to throw stones, and this is not good. It occurred to me to try to cut down this huge tree with the help of a troll. I know that he doesn't damage his allies, but does damage skeletons. The only question is whether the tree is an ally or an adversary of this huge blue toad. The damage to the tree passes, and I don't need a better tool at all, which means that I can get some quality wood. And yes, it worked, I'm very happy. However... What do you think will happen next? Log. The stone is behind. And a huge troll. Yes, he just took me and killed me. Such a stupid and ridiculous death. However, I won't give up. Never. I took my things, it's time to take revenge on this blue reptile. Again with him a bunch of his henchmen and assistants, but this will not help him. And again, we return to where we left off last time, there is very little left. I forgot about stamina again, you can't forget this.
I was a little confused and made a gross mistake, as a result of which I was killed. I lost this battle, but not the war. I'll be back stupid troll, but then I'll definitely defeat you. Thank you for watching and supporting, grandchildren. I will be very grateful if you subscribe and like old Max. Farewell grandchildren, all the best.